This is how we can use the debugger with the command line tool or inside the IDE. We set the breakpoint, run the code, and when the execution reaches that breakpoint, everything freezes, and we can inspect local variables, registers, stack trace, and other stuff. But how can the debugger stop the program at the precise instruction we want? We have two processes, the debugger process itself and the one we want to debug. We want to set a breakpoint at the very entry to the foo function. When the debuggy process reaches this function, we want to stop its execution and inspect its state with gdb. The idea how to do that is very smart. We will replace the first instruction of the foo function with the illegal one, the one the CPU doesn't understand. As soon as CPU tries to execute this trap instruction, it will get the illegal instruction exception. And we will immediately jump to the kernel code, which handles illegal instructions. And this is exactly what we wanted. Stop the execution. Let's take a look at the GDB source code and Linux kernel illegal instruction exception code. They both agree on what sequence of bytes to use as the trap instruction. And Linux checks whether it is a breakpoint trap or just the wrong instruction and the process should be killed. This time the kernel recognizes the breakpoint. It puts the debuggy process into the sleep state and notifies the GDB that breakpoint occurred. While the debuggy is sleeping, GDB can ask the kernel anything about its state. What are the values into its registers or how does its memory look like? It can even ask to change any of those. The mapping between source code variables and registers is in Dwarf, a special data format generated at the compile time. Having that, we can inspect whatever we want. But how to continue the execution? We need to execute the replaced instruction and move on. Try to invent a trick to do that and put your ideas into the comments.